Good morning, everyone. We are going to uh, begin this session with uh, what's new in Primavera P6 18.8. Uh, we welcome you all for this webinar uh, of image graphics. Uh, before this, we are going to begin up with the uh, agenda and, and our presentation. There's going to be a poll question which will be posted on to you all, uh, which we would like to, to uh, respond to that uh, for our uh, feedback and to understand uh, your standpoints with the uh, present industry stand situations. We'll be waiting here. Yes. Uh, the poll is open now. Uh, which version of uh, Primavera currently you are using it? So we will wait for another uh, few more moments. Answers. Let's cl let's close the poll. So we see that a uh, huge amount of uh, responses comes from uh, 8.2 as a resource. Others? Uh, uh, others are 50 percentage, uh, which are into uh, still into uh, PPM, which means uh, your standalone are using uh, with your primary solution. Uh, so we will begin up with the session now. Uh, on my other side, the organizer. I'm, I'm just going to move on with the further slides of uh, agenda and the presentation. Um, I hope you all can hear me. Uh, we have a, a, a question section at your side. Uh, so any of your questions can be posted on to the and uh, your, uh, answers at the end of the session. Um, so a warm welcome by my, myself, Prasanna, as a technical consultant for Enterprise Project Management Solution. As today we are uh, going to discuss about the Oracle Primavera uh, uh, project planning system, uh, and then in a specific subject of what is new in that uh, Primavera P6 18.8. So we image graphics uh, are software solution providers uh, uh, from 1996. So we are partners with the Oracle as a gold partner, and we all uh, uh, provide the consultation and solutions of the softwares to across uh, various sectors. Uh, petrochemical and construction. Uh, today's our agenda is what's new in EPPM 18.8 and uh, we see our poll uh, responses uh, uh, from your uh, attendees side and which means uh, we would like to give you an introduction about what is EPPM and then you'll focus on to more on to these uh, advantages and what are these uh, uh, re uh, release features that are uh, presently with 18.8 uh, specifically or very importantly that can be uh, used by uh, used for your project management system so uh, EPPM is within a, a Primavera uh, solution uh, enterprise project management and which is an um, uh, which is a web-based tool and which also has a windows based uh, environment for us to uh, work on for your project plans so uh, uh, Primer P6 uh, EPPM is 100 percentage web and which has a visual rich interface. And uh, also there is no onboard users which needs an installation onto your local PC. The P6 data is all be available on uh, web through your credentials. You can access your uh, uh, project data anywhere uh, in, in any location. So and and moreover, the P6 project data would be available in mobile application also. Uh, for the enterprise project portfolio management module. So the most advantage uh, uh, in, in terms of the um, 
project structuring or the project management uh, maturity process that you are following up with your organization is that um, most of the 50 percentage answers were uh, were into a sector of this level so which means that uh, you will be able to uh, manage your project uh, in a single system and work on for your project plan and monitor those uh, uh, project activities but wherein for the eppm we have a greater advantage to have a multiple project uh, handling at a single time and where uh, your your uh, peers who are working in your organization uh, can work alongside with your project at the same time uh, in a single environment that's where uh, your enterprise portfolio uh, uh, module uh, would be more advantage in adapting for your uh, system so the some of the key points which you which is uh, very much notable here is that uh, p6 eppm is a web interface environment also we have a uh, ppm which means uh, whatever you're following it as of now uh, with your client mission of uh, uh, system will also be available but advantage to that is that uh, add-on as a web interface will be available for us uh, which will be of a minimum price of uh, changing up from the eppm module and there are uh, uh, robust data dashboards which will be uh, possible for us to achieve it with the eppm module um, and there are uh, which way uh, we'll go to have an uh, overview about the software first uh, in the eppm environment and then we'll get about the feature specifically what we are going to discuss on to uh, So uh, let me just check the audience view. Right. So what you're observing here is the uh, interface of web uh, of EBPM, which uh, you can able to give your credentials to logging from anywhere uh, of your location. So which will be landing up into a, a, a page of uh, dashboards where uh, multiple projects, when you work onto it, and what are the scenarios or the situations of the reports, that you are getting up for your projects can be observed in your dashboard page, uh, which is completely configurable uh, with the multiple tabs of the services verticals that you are doing uh, in the uh, project management industry. So uh, this explains about the uh, dashboard page, uh, which will be a landing page for which you'll be able to uh, get a report or the uh, clear idea about your multiple projects which you are working in uh, across to that. But uh, we will just just have an idea about how the other tabs would be looking up. Uh, uh, in, in terms of your enterprise project structure, which means in your organization, when projects uh, across to your portfolios and uh, uh, combining those project act projects within your portfolios and the services, what you do it. And underneath that, you can have multiple projects and uh, which is also viewable directly in your web interface and all the features and possibilities which you're presently doing it with the uh, Primavera. Uh, a client mission would be uh, enabled directly out here in the web interface also and there are many advantages uh, in the uh, enterprise project portfolio management as I, as we are going to speak about that uh, in a few moments and uh, here over uh, we, we we do have some of the uh, uh, modules like uh, portfolios management and and whatever you wanted to have your own workspaces into your portfolios can be developed uh, which will be uh, able to have a scenario of multiple project uh, capability and do a better planning for your projects uh, when, when a scenario in your organization that you're going to manage a multiple project across the years of time. So uh, this actually uh, enables us to have a portfolio and project and also the dashboards on the page of a web interface. Uh, it's what is a, one of the major advantage that you can be able to achieve it with the, uh, the EPPM module. Uh, with the web interface. So let us get back again into a uh, slide. Let me just check the audience view. Okay. So the interface, what you were observing as of uh, uh, just earlier uh, as an EBPM. Uh, so now we have been observing it in the version. Of, uh, we are in a version of 18.8. So we are going to see what's new in that respective release of 18.8. Uh, one of the major uh, 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 release or the feature that has been uh, to be really uh, announced to her is that uh, there is no more java applet is available uh, will be uh, there for the eppm module so you'll be having uh, html5 page uh, html5 for all the uh, dashboards or the viewabilities what you're uh, observed uh, in this respective page of dashboards 
So this uh, improves the performances into your uh, web browser so that uh, you can easily load up all your uh, dashboard portlets or the, or the reports that we are observing in the EPPM. And uh, this also uh, uh, gives you a better visibility for your projects. And there, there is no dependable anymore onto a Java uh, applet uh, is what is the advantage from uh, this present release. That is completely switched, off, uh, switched over to an HTML5 uh, view for your uh, projects. Uh, this is what we have been discussing now. Uh, the HTML based pages loads faster, so that doesn't need any additional plugins. So this is one of the major advantage uh, with present 18.8 uh, .8 version that uh, Oracle has been released for uh, EPPM. And this uh, has the same and very similar functionality. There is no change over into that. Only advantage is that we are improvised with the performances of uh, working with the EPPM in web interface module. Um, some of the uh, next few slides, what we are going to do is that we'll be observing the presentation to understand the subject in which the feature we are discussing about it. And we are going to see that respective uh, feature directly into a uh, web interface so that we'll be understanding about the uh, feature what is has been released as of now. So uh, into our first sub uh, global enterprise data, uh, which enables the, us now uh, to import the global data and export the global data. Uh, from the interface. So if you observe here, we have an uh, uh, interface here to export the data as an Excel, and you can also import that back again uh, into your P6 environment uh, easily from your Excel. So this uh, respective uh, uh, feature has also have an advantage that an existing data can be updated so that uh, there is no uh, data which uh, it's going to be deleted, only it is going to be added on and on uh, when you import uh, the uh, the file from your local mission. So there is also an activity codes which uh, can be imported and exported uh, in the similar uh, page. Looking up about this respective uh, uh, part as of now. So let us just see um, where that comes. So uh, in EPPM uh, Enterprise Project Portfolio Manager, for the Project that uh, you can actually use users based on to their role, uh, privileges that you wanted to give it to them. So here is the uh, uh, advancement that uh, for which we are speaking now is the global data, which means the all the uh, level of project or the informations which are going to be exist in your global data. So which which, which means that we have uh, enterprise page across import all the information or, or, or the financial periods what you are working out with your systems or related to the project information uh, like a new fields which you have been uh, wanted to bring it uh, where, where, where a huge amount of data is there into your local machine which you wanted to bring it into uh, EPPM system is now easily possible with the option of import and export enterprise data so when we click on to this respective mode uh, you'll be able to see that what are the options that are available now to export uh, and also import medium from here. So all these informations which are observing it in the web interface can be exported directly into your Excel so that with this, uh, now this is possible for us to export all the information of the enterprise level of data. So for all the uh, um, new people who are observing and uh, having a uh, question like, and what is an enterprise data? The enterprise data is a level at the beyond to a project level, which means uh, across to your projects, which is going to be a common terms, uh, which you wanted to adapt to your pro uh, project across to it. So for an instance, that could be of a project codes uh, based on to their locations. So it, which is means as an enterprise data for an instance. So similar basis, there are going to be a multiple enterprise data uh, and that uh, uh, feature as now has the flexibility to import and export uh, through an Excel. And uh, one more respective mode which we would like to speak here is that uh, most of the web interface, when we speak about it, it's going to be a, a top management people who wants to observe to their respective roles and privileges as an adapt dashboard level. And there are uh, role basis of uh, preferences would be existing. And with this new feature 18.8, uh, .8, you'll be able to uh, have the settings of uh, on our own to what a start page it has to be. 
uh, when you log in into the system of EBPM. So uh, we have that enablement here. And that is also an, another enablement that whenever you look at a web environment of your project or the activities that you can define your uh, display density, how that has to be looking up for your uh, view. So uh, this respective uh, page uh, for, for my preferences is um, as that enablement now uh, to define your own page, uh, or which should be a start page of that. So that you can uh, observe that uh, under the uh, my preferences uh, tab uh, in the EPPM, which will be giving you an, uh, a page location where you can also observe what is to be uh, viewed into a first start page uh, for uh, when you log in into the system. It can be of your dashboards if you are a manager level, if you are fixing it for a manager level of a role. It can be of approvals if it is your stakeholders or any other people's and can be a portfolios, uh, which uh, means the portfolio managers page uh, can be adaptable for the start of the page, which they log into it and all the project managers can be load up uh, at the level of projects. So this uh, enables an easier way uh, to do that process. And uh, there is also uh, a next uh, respective future, which we will be, uh, which we'd like to focus down here. Let me just back up. So what is not some question here? Uh, I think this. Okay, so there are some questions uh, upcoming here. We will be answering that uh, shortly. And uh, updating multiple user with the settings from another user. This is another uh, advantage uh, or the feature that is now available for the primary administrators and, and the people who are get, get doing an uh, initial level of adaptability of the BPM uh, system, which means that when you have a certain roles basis of information of the users, that uh, respective settings can be uh, copied from uh, those information and share it up into the uh, another user, which you're going to create it into. So that respective mode uh, would be available uh, out in the administration similar page. So this is a uh, uh, greater advantage for the user uh, administrators of the Primavera EPPM, uh, where they can now easily adapt to that uh, respective mode of updating the user settings from the uh, uh, copying it from an existing user to another user. So we can also define the security profiles accordance to the role that they wanted to be involved into the system and to the level uh, or the, we define say that as a role level of restrictions that the user has to view the respective data and walk into the system. So that level of uh, configuration is now made easier with the uh, options of setting it uh, from or copying the settings from one existence user to another user. All right, so I think that's a question related to team member also. So now uh, uh, that's what we are going to address now for the respective team member. So uh, we have an, a greater advantage now with the team member application, uh, uh, but just before to entering into the feature updates or in the present release, what is the P6 team member to the new people who are uh, looking up for the EPPM here is that uh, it's a mobile application for Android and iOS uh, to view your activities and update the status, submit the timesheets and communicate with the other working in your EPPM uh, activities. So you can collaborate with your team member, uh, other uh, project participants involved into it. And from the mobile application, you can you'll be able to view your list of activities which have been assigned to you or which your own uh, uh, as an uh, owner for your activity can be viewed in, in the mobile application. And you can also update the status into that uh, from that respective mode and which gets updated into your uh, uh, EPPM environment. Uh, if you are to discuss about uh, uh, one of the great point now with the 18.8 .8 is that there are many of the improvements in grouping and filtering uh, that is available with your team member now. Uh, we will quickly have a view about uh, that respective uh, mode, how that looks up. Just... So uh, you just have a mobile application out here. Let me see. Yeah. Um, and in that, I can just locate to my uh, 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 P6 team member application, uh, which, which will be a, a, a credential login, which we needed. And once you logged in that, and you can be able to observe seeing it, what are the activities that are uh, related to you uh, or which are related to us uh, uh, as a user to be able to see in the all. But now in the new feature of the advantages that we have uh, a greater filtering settings that is available with the uh, present uh, version, 
which will be able us to uh, do a filtering based on to what are the projects that you wanted to have a visibility alone you can make a selection or based on to the work breakdown structures that you wanted uh, you are focused on or concentrating much more on to uh, make it into work you can be able to do that and also some of the related to the status level of information of each and every activity that you wanted to view can also be filtered uh, directly with this options enabled. So uh, this respective uh, uh, of of feature is now being uh, 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 greaterly available uh, for the users to make it in a faster way of uh, working out with your activity. So whatever is in your level of information that you wanted to see uh, in your mobile application can be easily observed uh, with this filtering settings option. And one more prime thing which I wanted to uh, um, uh, share it at this moment is that uh, some of the uh, uh, activities which you'd like to have give an update in a uh, in a bulk uh, updates which we wanted to do it in a uh, instant of time uh, now the, this is possible like if you just uh, long press an activity and which you get a tick mark of an option uh, which you can um, do that process respectively more into that um, just, uh, that respective more so these are some of the uh, 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 feature that we have been discussed with the uh, uh, team member application for uh, improvements in that present version. So uh, uh, moving on to the uh, other uh, respective subjects that one of the uh, uh, important thing is that uh, we have now here with the performance percentage complete labor unit as a separate column, uh, which will be calculated column for uh, for if you are ha having a, uh, if you are loaded with your resource uh, loaded schedules uh, for which if you wanted to have a calculation of uh, uh, earn value based on to the performances uh, of your labor units that will be possible as to give us a percentage values according to that. Uh, uh, this will be uh, primarily available for us if you are uh, doing a resource loaded of a schedule uh, for your projects uh, which earlier uh, earn value calculation will be uh, based on to the different uh, rules that we set up for the uh, techniques uh, that can be set up for each and every WBS level. And um, uh, with the output of that, we'll be able to achieve a performance percentage complete, which means that uh, you can uh, uh, calculate the activity uh, or percentage complete uh, based on the plan work, which has uh, happened as uh, at present currently. And now this calculation of labor units is done according to the earned value of labor units divided by the budgeted completion uh, of labor units, uh, which will be uh, giving you a percentage value when, where it gets multiplied by 100. Um, let me just show you that respective process here. So now we are observing uh, my environment here uh, of a schedule project schedule activities. So we have just opened up a respective project to observe that respective column uh, performance percentage complete according to the labor units. So this will be uh, a uh, workable if you are having a, a resource loaded schedule uh, for your media. So, So when you open up a project, you can observe a tab where you will be observing the uh, activities of your project, uh, where now we have a column enabled for uh, performance uh, percentage complete according to your labor units. So that respective uh, option is available to uh, have a betterments in your uh, earned value calculation based on to the labor units. And there is an uh, advancement in the import and export location with your projects, which means that you can now uh, have a zip uh, file import and export of uh, uh, a project in XCR file formats so that this uh, respective mode will be helpful for us to give you which uh, what is an import action happens and where that goes into a landing of your uh, export happening. And also this can be uh, zip files of your multiple projects can be imported and exported to uh, everybody. Then another uh, important uh, process which I uh, would like to discuss out here is that uh, uh, now you'll be able to see, uh, uh, we'll be able to have, develop some of your uh, multiple users environment uh, where you can have your own views which can be set for your uh, team people uh, 
where where uh, where your page of a web interface what you are observing which are different columns can be set up assigned uh, to the people uh, as a team so that this reduces your time uh, for your uh, uh, configurations of your columns which means that if i click on to the multiple user under the uh, uh, under the multiple user as a planning department the department which needs certain columns related to that can be uh, uh, configured at one time and given access to a multiple users at, a, uh, at this environment of access page so that will be available under the multiple users and this option gets uh, uh, disabled when you move on to another uh, user categorization of managing the views so this perspective uh, view will be helpful if you wanted to uh, assign that to a level of site level where the people wants to observe these of the columns and and there are multiple people who wants to be shared with this respective view uh, you can do that with a multiple users option uh, in 80.8. And one more important uh, uh, feature which we are going about to discuss here is that uh, the, the, the Gantt chart features that is available with the EBPM has, has made more interactive for the uh, power users who are uh, uh, into a project planning or who wants to develop uh, who wants to work on with the project plan and also for the level of a project manager who wants to work in a multiple pages accordance to that so we'll look it up into uh, what are the scenarios that it would be helpful for us into an, uh, in, in a terms of an interactive feature that is uh, available now uh, with EBPM. Uh, let me just uh, page So you can uh, observe seeing there are uh, three activities uh, which we have been created as of now uh, for uh, for our instance here to observe what is uh, what is that respective feature is talking all about. So if I just click on to this activity, I can just drag this activity. When I do that respective process, this calculates and uh, governs me how much duration that you, uh, that this activity has been pulling out and what is the uh, timeline uh, or the date factor that it is taking up for that respective mode of that. So this can be done for uh, multiple activities also at the same time that if I just uh, have a shift clicked onto it and uh, if I just, let me just take this back again. So uh, click onto this, I can group, grouply select multiple activities and uh, do an analysis of or, or easily drag to the level what I wanted uh, into uh, into my new level of uh, uh, activities duration that can be achieved with the interact in the Gantt chart by directly. And uh, even the uh, linkings which I wanted to perform, I can do that directly uh, in my Gantt chart with the EPPM uh, web interface so that uh, the power users can easily use this uh, interface for that. And for the project managers level, if I just uh, say that uh, uh, since this EPPM has the capability of handling a multiple uh projects and uh, portfolio enablement is available uh, if you locate that uh, project managers at the level of uh, managing the project to a certain uh, when they are in progress they would like to have the forecast dates uh, which can be done using the capital planning page uh, so uh, in this page now the uh, the person who works on as a, a manager for respective these are each and every projects uh, which have been created as a, a, a portfolio for under the name of engineering and construction so there are multiple project owners who are working into it. So now the portfolio manager can uh, work on with this interactive Gantt chart by, by just uh, wanted to understand where the forecast date they wanted to uh, see to it. So they can just click onto this and they can just move directly into the uh, uh, Gantt chart to, to move the uh, forecast dates uh, in the Gantt chart view. So that will be uh, viewable in the column also what the performances you're doing. So when you move into it and I can understand uh, which date you're forecasting and which date it's going to be get completed so I can do that for multiple projects now in the uh, capital capacity planning page also. Right. Uh, one more information that uh, uh, each and every user what you're creating it at, and we have a, a consignment notice that is that can be created and that, now that auditing of those informations like some of the uh, uh, pages when there is a warning information which has to be raised up by the administrator or the, or the higher level of uh, super users who configure those pages can now send the consignment notice and create those information and control that in a specific page uh, under my preferences. Uh, 
Um, one important uh, part that we are about to discuss now is that uh, in the EPS page, which I wanted to uh, deliver to uh, the, the existing EPPM users also, uh, which they have to cautiously look up when they are working on with this uh, environment. Uh, and just begin up with this respective uh, discussion, what we are making up here is that uh, the project preferences, which we set at the EPS level, uh, with, uh, the settings, what we are doing in it, uh, we have to be uh, do this for the respective uh, feature of summarizations that is needed for that. So now the question would be, what is that sum meaning of summarization and why do we need to do that uh, in this uh, EPPM uh, environment is that uh, we will explore that directly into our environment here. So let me just go to the page here. So under EPS page uh, for each and every projects, you can set the project level of uh, preferences, uh, which will be set there for uh, their data or the information what you do in it. So when you develop your activities uh, or the project schedule and their related data or the parameters into a project, those informations from a lower level as to sum up at the uh, higher level of your enterprise node, what you're defining it as a, 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 a as a service uh, or the vertical business vertical that you're defining it as an enterprise level should be getting cumulatively updated of, uh, from the data which are from your lower level of your project. So these are the list of projects under the engineering and construction. And for each and every project, uh, you'd be able to set the project preferences option uh, under this respective tab uh, of analytics and services. So unless and until you don't enable this uh, summarization option, your project level of data will not be, uh, your activity level of data will not be cumulative to your project uh, uh, level and display the uh, value here in the enterprise columns. So uh, the, 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 the advantage here is that some of the works which you are doing it in the uh, project, uh, you can also have a, a, a regular basis of a scheduled level of, a scheduled level of um, a summarizations which has to be happened in a regular manner. But one important thing uh, uh, existing EPPM users to observe here is that uh, the summarizations uh, uh, levels can be fixed up uh, by ourselves. So by default, when you uh, define an EPS uh, uh, or when you create an EPS node, like a business vertical, and if you observe that uh, project set, uh, set preferences underneath that, this will be uh, uh, by default summarized to a WBS level of two by default. And if you uh, left it as such and what projects, whatever you created underneath this respective EPS node, uh, will get an inherit of those uh, summarized to a WBS level of two, which means uh, when your project data are having uh, uh, multiple levels of work breakdown structure, the summarization is going to happen only at the WBS level two. Okay, so it has to be always made a selection of uh, select all so that whatever the project you create underneath that, you don't have to be Project setup preferences will be automatically set to uh, a summarize of all WBS levels. But uh, uh, very cautious steps that you, you need to do it in an initial stage so that you get uh, uh, a cumulative or roll up value at the EPS pages that you are uh, observing as a columns here. So uh, we are just uh, ending up with this respective mode of uh, discussion about the uh, new feature with the 18.8 uh, with the Primavera uh, discussion. But uh, we, are, we are just looking forward to the understanding about what we are looking up as a, a services that we are uh, uh, doing it across to end and end uh, with the, uh, the Primavera solutions which means that uh, all the processes uh, of the project initiation till the project closure, uh, which, uh, which you need to adapt a system and you'll be working on with the uh, respective uh, project management system uh, based on to your needs. And now with the uh, uh, Primavera solution, we have a cloud basis of environment where the complete project life cycle uh, is now available in the cloud platform uh, by, by name of Oracle Prime, uh, which means that you have uh, multiple requirements across to your projects uh, in different phases, which can be attainable uh, with the, uh, with a, in, a, in a single platform uh, across to all your requirements uh, and, and advantageously that is also available in your mobile application to uh, various levels of modules. And, and this goodness is that this gets an, 
uh, excellent connectivity that if you are existingly having some of your EPPM uh, module and some of your projects in your EPPM gets integrated uh, easily with the uh, Oracle Prime Cloud service. So the purpose here is that you you reduce on with your infrastructure uh, and also get on to your project uh, in an easier or the simpler uh, way uh, to work on for your multiple needs uh, that are needed for your project. And to meet your objectives, uh, there are various modules accordingly which it works out. And one important update with the present EPPM 18.8 is that the lean task management, which means uh, you will be able to attain a project activities uh, for your project plan, which requires a more detailed level of project performances, which you need, uh, uh, which you can be able to perform with Oracle Prime under the module of lean task management, uh, which is now being connected with the uh, EPPM version. Um, uh, in Oracle Prime, uh, we'll be able to do a, a lean process or lean scheduling methodology, like uh, creating a multiple of day to day of uh, tasks that is needed for an activity uh, uh, to be getting completed uh, can be formed as a, a planning board where you can uh, have a lightweight of interface to create multiple tasks which you wanted to perform for that respective activity. Those information gets now integrated with your EPPM. Uh, for each and every activity that you're uh, connected in your uh, uh, prime uh, gets updated under the steps tab uh, in a EPPM. The purpose for this one is that to have a, a, a viewability into your EPPM or the project data uh, uh, in your uh, primavera EPPM and, uh, and in Oracle Prime or in a, both are in a sim, uh, singular level uh, for your project information. So this connectivity is uh, now made with, through an integration. So that is possible now for uh, lean tasks, which you are achievable with the prime can be now viewable in the steps uh, in EPPM 18.8. Uh, uh, we are just ending up uh, in a few more slides. So any of your feedbacks and your questions can be posted or we'll be answering that uh, uh, after this uh, slide. So we uh, image graphics are gold partner for Oracle and we are also a uh, cloud partner for uh, consulting for Oracle Prime, uh, which we have been discussing at end. And we are Oracle certified professional. We are 22 years plus uh, uh, presence in our market. And we have a, a greater team to uh, uh, do an implementation, perform an implementation training, technical support. And we have also have an in-house development to uh, uh, do all the integrations and uh, needs of the uh, organizations. So let us move on to the question session uh, answer for this respective session here. Uh, there are a lot of questions here. Uh, you need full license. Okay. Certain are answered. So, uh, wait for some more time to load on your uh, questions. Can we put more tabs like project resource mode? Yes, you can. You can uh, enable multiple tabs in your EBPM for whatever uh, is ne necessary for you, and you can also uh, restrict those views if uh, views shouldn't be uh, viewable to another users also. So uh, that can be done uh, easily. And uh, could the team member update the forecast date? Um, uh, that can be done if you are enabling that respective uh, 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 feature in this in the team member settings in the uh, initial project level of. Uh, preferences we have observed the project preferences page underneath that we have a team member tab for the respective uh, need so if you would like to have a, a forecast date to be visible to your uh, project team members uh, uh, or the site level to uh, observe and update that they, they can perform that respective mode from that if we adjust the bars will the project schedule automatically um, no uh, we have uh, we have to reschedule uh, after we adjust the bars in the Gantt chart. Uh, uh, this uh, this will be uh, made automatically if you are setting the uh, uh, auto schedule of uh, uh, auto schedule. But this respective mode of when you adjust the bars, the schedule will not automatically happen uh, unless and until you uh, you do a uh, uh, reschedule option. Uh, the physical progress is rolled. Okay, the physical progress is rolled up based on weight. Your question is not st straightforward to answer. Uh, maybe could be able to elaborate if possible. Like physical progress is rolled up based on weight. The question. Okay.
Okay, uh, EPPM is now an HTML based uh, uh, transformation. It's no more uh, Java applets, uh, uh, which is for the ma majority of pages. So it has been completely moved to an HTML page uh, pages. So it is now HTML based of it. Clear with that respective question of uh, uh, physical progress is rolled up based on weight. Uh, if you could able to uh, come up again, we'll be able to do that. With it. Yes, uh, there's an another question uh, which is an interesting thing. Uh, whether P60 member is coming a part of EPPM? Yes, it comes as a part of EPPM. Uh, the users who, whomsoever having an EPPM uh, uh, users can be able to have a, a P60 uh, team member accessibility. And more level of people who wants to restrict only at the team members, you can increase your counts of license for the team members uh, 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 to another module, to another level of uh, configurations also. Right. Um, uh, I have to report to the CEO the dashboard for uh, all of our projects. You can do that uh, uh, if you your CEO to have a respective user and view uh, uh, in the dashboard page alone, uh, you, you can configure the, your project dashboards and that respective dashboard page can be uh, uh, viewable by your CEO at any point of time. So that is a dynamic page. So whenever there, there is a change in your projects, that dashboard page gets updated automatically. So you, uh, you get a, a major advantage uh, in instead of uh, giving a reportings uh, that are needed for your organization. Uh, is there an educational version available? For yes, your, and regarding training, and uh, yeah, uh, as a service uh, 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 discussion, uh, we have informed that uh, we do a training uh, and support for uh, our primary solution, so we'll be able to uh, contact you soon also. All right. Uh, there's another question like, uh, what is the what is the advantage of lean task management other than updating uh, uh, updating the task? Okay. So the the point here is that what we discussed as a lean task management uh, that is available with the uh, 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 single line platform of Oracle uh, attachment with the Oracle Primavera uh, solution as Oracle Prime in the cloud, uh, which has the greater enablement uh, to perform your uh, uh, lean scheduling, which means the day to day, which is needed to obtain to complete your activity. Uh, can we uh, have a planning board for a level of uh, last planners who can perform the task which has to be done? And that is more, uh, uh, you know, a lightweight of interface that I can easily move on to the uh, day to day of a task that they wanted to perform for an activity and update the status of the task that has been happened. And they can collaborate with the other project participant instantly. Uh, uh, to uh, to have an interactive for each and every problems or the issues that are happening in the site uh, at the same time, and and more uh, you can um, illustratively have a, a, a works that has to be performed for an activity. So that is more uh, advantage with the lean task management uh, 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 other than updating uh, activity. So you can uh, that's actually a practice that will be uh, more adaptable to your organization, so which we are uh, suggesting to you all. Uh, for your projects, mm -hmm. but can, uh, can be able to attach the document. Yeah, you can able to attach the documents at each activity level. Uh, you'll be able to perform that uh, process. Um, okay. So uh, coming up, we'll hold on some more time. Some questions will be uh, answerable to your uh, email addresses uh, across to you. And one important thing uh, we'll uh, 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 here to observe here is that uh, this session will be uh, recorded and we'll be transferring that uh, the recordings to you. And we are regularly doing a webinars which you be uh, which you can also observe seeing that uh, respective of webinars uh, in our image graphics uh, page. So which we'd like to copy it and and I'm placing that in your chat module, which you can access into it that. Uh, 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 so you can uh, bookmark this respective page and uh, regular updates of the webinars you can observe it here and whatever is the discussions or the blogs that we are posting in uh, can be accessible for uh, uh, all the people who enter into this uh, URL. Right. 
Um, we'll hold on for one more moment. Uh, if the Um, I think some questions which we'll be also answering uh, uh, answering you all uh, through May. So we, we we record all the questions what has been uh, asked. Um, still, we, we didn't get a clarity onto the uh, physical progress question that been uh, asked for. Uh, so we'll uh, we'll we'll expect to do that uh, to you all. All right. So uh, we will be answering your questions uh, post to this session, uh, taking up uh, an email, and you can also approach to us. Uh, our email addresses are available, so we'll be able to do a one-on-one -on -one presentation and also consult uh, according to your uh, project management you wanted to uh, looking forward to implement into your projects. And uh, wish you all uh, great success for your projects. And uh, we take this moment to thank you all for joining us today. Uh, we'll see you soon back again uh, in uh, Image Graphics webinar. Thank you.